Guys, welcome to the Europa League match reviews. It was a, uh, it was it's a review show. The review show. It was a Just good a night. longer video. It was a good night for one side of Glasgow, and it wasn't the green side who fell to their second defeat in five days. Neil Lennon said the performance was much better tonight, like the old Celtic. But uh, to be fair, I didn't really see it. And uh, I seen the second half. Uh, so we're talking about Celtic first, right? So they can see two goals. Apparently it was all Shane Duffy's fault. Everyone wanted Shane Duffy out. Is Shane Duffy not supposed to be the man? Fucking... He's fucking pish. Oh, oh, pish. Look, he's a Premier League centre-back. He's going to walk the SPFL. doesn't work like that. Highest rated player in the uh, in FIFA like in the Scottish League. But uh, that didn't help him much against uh, Ibrahimovic, no, did but, it? No, but see, it, right? see like the English Premier League, see centre-backs, not a lot of them are hard-hitting. I would say Shane Duffy kind of is in a way, right? So he probably thought, oh, he'll go up here and batter. I know it's AC Milan, right? But he'll go up and batter everyone. But what two centre-backs in the SPL aren't like hard-hitting bastards? It's not, it's not, it's not outdated. I know, I've seen the SPL, you, you don't need to be this ball-playing fucking centre-back, you know what I mean? Like a, like a PK or something, you know? Like. And he probably thought, oh, they're all wee midgets up there or something like that. But you know what? The only midget on the pitch is Shane Duffy, because Ibrahimovic made him look the small. Pitch. He made him and look and small. And he didn't even get a goal, Ibra. Celtic, though, came out the second half, Chris Sutton near greeting, they get a goal back. Oh, the old Celtic are back, brother. 3 1. Good night. Let's move on to the game that matters. Where will you be playing AC Milan next time? San Marino. Padre. Ah, yes. Hey. Aye, anyway. San Siro. <laughs> San Siro. San... You, said, you said San Marino. Fucking San Marino on the brain, I've mentioned San Marino. Anyway, though, do you, think, do you think that's Celtic not getting out of this group? I don't think AC Milan are that good that they'll take six points off every team in this. I'd be surprised if AC Milan won their other two. I, I, I'd be surprised if AC Milan won their other two away games. So, but then I, I suppose with COVID 19, I, I don't think being away, I don't think it was a massive. I don't think no, it was but much I, think like, I was watching Ryan Momo Nate's preview for this game to see what the meltdown would be like. And he said that AC Milan are a superior team to uh, Rangers, so if they don't turn up, they'll get absolutely battered. Do you really think, right? I'm not saying. I don't think it's much different. I don't on paper. I mean, I don't think there's. I looked at that AC Milan team tonight, and it is it is poor. It is, it is it's fucking poor. This ain't AC Milan 2010, 2005. Are, uh, I think people see the name, hear the name, and they fucking fear it. I mean, this isn't. It. Like you said, this isn't AC Milan with. No, it is. They're in the top. They're in the top. They're in a better league, like one of the top five leagues. So the name means more. Yeah, and they have had a like, decent start this season. But what they do, it doesn't. It doesn't change the fact, right? They could win their next ten games and be top of the league. Their team isn't that good, and that, that's the fact. You, you, you look got, at they've got forty-year-old Ebra leading the line. He's the man. He's brilliant. But come on, no, no leading team can go with him. They've got se seventeen-year-old Tonali, who's <laughs> pish, but. Is all they've got, so they're talking him up to be this like wonder kid. When in reality, they, he's not even that good. And Edward would get in the AC Milan team. I think he would. Who, who, who's he not going to get in? I mean, Ibra should be retired by now. Uh, Raphael Leo, pish. The guy that we need to take a fucking penalty kick in the shootout against. Um, Rabbit is no bad. Not mind Rabbit. Um, is he even still there? I thought he left. I thought he went there. No, I'm pretty sure Rebic is away. But isn't he playing tonight? Point is, guys, to say AC Milan are superior to Rangers, I think, is wrong. I mean, they're not, they're not superior to Celtic. They're not superior to either of them. They're just... I wouldn't say... Would you trade Celtic's 11 for... for would you trade Celtic's best 11 for AC Milan's best 11? Maybe bar Inter and Juventus, no team in Italy is quote-unquote superior. Oh no, I disagree, like... Superior, think of the word superior. Aye, oh, come on, Napoli are a lot better than AC Milan. So you see Napoli? They're fucking pish. So, nah, nah. Oh, who have Napoli got? Better, Nap better players than Milan. Koulibaly, one overrated bastard, right? I mean, right, what's he won? He's got he hawed to his name and people mark out about him. Oh, say, let's spend over 100 million for this guy. Why would you spend 100 million for this guy when you can get Shane Duffy on loan for 2 million? You know, you get me? Uh-huh, right. Anyway, AC Milan beat Celtic. AC Milan, they will, I, I thought they were favourites favorites to top the group. They'll probably top it now. Um, 
while Celtic go through, I need to try and remember who else is in the group. Lille and Sparta Prague. Lille and Sparta. That's tough, like. Well, I'd say if Rangers were in that group, I'd say I'd fancy Rangers' chances of going through, but I don't fancy... Ch- I don't know, just... Yeah. Most of Sparta Prague, will you score tonight? Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. I just don't fancy Celtic. I mean, I'm pretty what? sure Lille won. Because La- Sparta Prague were down to 10 men. You know, last year they had like, some really good results. Beat Lazio. You know, great result. Lazio, who I'd say are a better team than AC Milan. I'm just, I'm just going by player-wise. That AC Milan team is not good. It's not. And this isn't PES ratings or FIFA ratings. It's, it's <laughs> I mean, based on actual football here. This, this team isn't any good. It's no. It's crap. It is. I mean, you you do an AC Milan. If you see we're doing a combined 11 AC Milan and Inter, would you even get one AC Milan guy in there? No. Because at the moment, you would take fucking... You would take Lukaku over Ibra. Who else is Fio Hernandez? I'd probably put Fio Hernandez in. People say Dunarama, like, but I mean, this guy's been topped up for Aye, years. Dunarama. And what about this guy? He's, not, he's really not like, I well, Hadanovic. Yeah. I'd take Hadanovic over Dunarama all day long. Uh, it's just, AC Milan team's not that good, but it was good enough to beat a shite Celtic team. And this was common, right? Anyone who said that Wesley is in denial. You look at Celtic's path, they qualify into Europe League. Like, absolute shite. Struggled. And, you know, the Celtic fans are like, oh... You know, we're there, we're, we've won. Aye, but it was, emba- it was, on first. It was embarrassing. Like, Rangers beat a, a good Galatasaray side convincingly. I know it was only what, 2-1, but Rangers <laughs> were superior in the game. You look Celtic against... Riga. The, the teams were that shite, I can't even remember. They could, it's not like... It's not as if Celtic dominated Riga and, and Riga were holding on for dear life, you know, and managed to keep it like 0-0 late into the game. Celtic was shit. Couldn't create nothing and we're lucky to win both games, so... You know, that's what it is. If you're struggling to beat Riga, then you're going to struggle to beat AC Milan. It's nothing to do with AC Milan being great. I honestly believe if Celtic had a got like Inter Milan in the group, or if they were in a, the Champions League at the moment and had Juventus in the group, I reckon they'd be looking at a five six 0 defeat. I, I reckon that's how Celtic are at the moment. I think Neil Lennon's done. He, he was he's all right. He's an all right manager when Rangers don't have anyone else. But now that Rangers are getting back to, I mean, best Rangers have been in a decade, no doubt about it. Lennon's just not the man. He got sacked. Hibs sacked him. How can you get sacked for the, the B team? <laughs> How can you get sacked for the Celtic B team and get promoted to the A team? It just doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? It'd be like, it'd be like fucking Toro Ross. Uh, Toro Ross was saying to Kofi, "You're shite. <laughs> We're getting ready." And then Red Bull pick him up. You know, it just you know what? That doesn't happen. Would you say Celtic are close to turmoil? I, I, I think Steve Clark will be the new manager if he doesn't beat Serbia. I think that's what's going uh, Let's hope Steve Clark beats uh, I Now, a lot of Rangers fans are saying that they'd love Steve Clark to be the Celtic manager because um, he's shite, but I mean, that's not true. The, the guy, over a calendar season, he won more points with Kamarnik than. I get that, right? But he I, won I, more I, points with Kamarnik than Neil Lennon did with Celtic over over the space of a year. That's that's, that's embarrassing. Well, is, it, is that great for Clark or embarrassing for Lennon? I know, but the way Steve Clark sets up and the way they play, is that really what Celtic want? Yeah, but he done that with Kelly. Yeah, but and Kelly for some reason, pitch. he's doing it. With Kelly Scott. fans don't complain about that. I know, but is he going? To, is he going to do that if he's the manager of Celtic? What's I'm saying? Maybe that's the only thing he's got in his locker. Maybe, maybe it's not. But maybe it is. I'm pretty sure when he was at West Brom, he played free for him. Football. I know, how fucking well did that go at West Brom? Not promoted. He won the league. Oh, they all won the championship. What? Yo, West Brom were sitting in seventh for a while. I think when he was there, then it all kind of went to shit. But they were in well. seventh for a while. Aberdeen on what Sunday? You're saying, at Pudo- at see, Pudodri. 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 I, I, I say that, and you're like, oh, it's like um, Aberdeen could be up there, and you're like, oh, but won their game in hands against Celtic. And what? I mean, this isn't. Nah, but Aberdeen this used to isn't. Like Brendan, like, aye, but this isn't Brendan. Ro- it's Brendan Rodgers' Celtic team, and Celtic fans think they're getting Pochettino. Fucking no chance. I mean, they were, they were just lucky, right place, right time to get Rodgers. You're never going to get that caliber manager again unless. And plus, it helps Rogers support Celtic. Does he? Yes. Bastard. Anyway, right. <laughs> Celtic are pissed. Neil Lennon will be of a job. And it'll probably be his last time at, at the Celtic, you know, in the Celtic hot seat. He was kind of lucky to get the job in the first place. He went down south, couldn't hack it, came back up. Hibs couldn't hack it there and somehow I, I just. Right, we've spent 10 minutes talking about Celtic. That's enough for a, a decade, in my opinion. Right, I just want to say the only thing Neil Lennon's good at 
it's fucking... getting hit by coins and selling it as if he's been shot in the face by a shotgun. Anyway, uh, AC Milan won 3 1. And uh, moving on to talk about a good team, Fake Alaska. The mighty Polisco Rangers. I can't believe the difference. Seeing this basically a couple of years, like, Rangers were fucking dog shit under that Pedro guy. Pedro Casino or. Ca- he guy. needs fucking shot. I mean, they, they is. lost to progress and now you've got. It's not. It's not as if it's not as if Rangers are beating teams, decent teams now, and you're going. Oh, I mean that was a great win. You're going into these games expecting Rangers to win. Like, a, and that's I, another thing. Back to our preview, I predict that three one AC Milan and two 0 Rangers. Where's my money? Well, I mean, I predict that two one Celtic. Mm, you predicted two one Celtic. No, I said. I think no. I said one one Celtic. No, and, I said two one. And two one Rangers. Did you? Aye. I think you said 2-1 Celtic. Like, no, I said 1-1 one, one Celtic and 2-1 Rangers. Well, either way, you fucking got it wrong, both of well, you. I got, I got the Rangers of Celtic, right? I, I got both. I, I got, no, you didn't. You got the... I got the... Resu- oh, uh, you didn't get the... Aye, I got the... Res- I- I got the result, yes, plastic. I didn't get the scoreline correct, alright? Aye, maybe, but... Aye, no, no, maybe about it. Aye, but... But anyway, my point is, Rangers now, they're going into games against good teams. They're going into games against good teams, right? And you're expecting them to win. Like, last year, Rangers went into t- that game against Porto, and it wasn't as if... Oh, fuck Porter, I hope Rangers can get a point. You know, I went into that game thinking, you know, Rangers can take them. And to me, that's mental because, I mean, I didn't expect... See, see a couple of years ago, you wouldn't, you didn't think Rangers were going to take St Mirren. Never mind teams like Porter and Galatasaray. So, you know what? Fair play. Um, I, I tell you and I tell you what, I think if Celtic got Rangers path for qualification, they wouldn't even be in it because I, I don't think this current Celtic side would have beat Galatasaray. But anyway, Rangers did beat Standard Liège away from home. And that's, I mean, that's them almost through. I'm not going to go, no, I don't want to make a fool of myself in case they lose the next five games, but I, I don't really see how Rangers don't qualify now. To me, this is, oh, well, well, to me, this was the most important game. Yeah, because it's the first game, it's an, it's an away game. And, and no, it's against the team that you, not, like, they, it, uh, it's the that will be going for second, and now you've just battered them away from home. Yeah. But anyway, I will say, I thought Standard Ledge were a bit unlucky tonight. I thought they probably deserved something at the game, but then they get it. But taking off the way for Angels, they won. They did their job. See, to be fair, it should have been. <laughs> I thought Standard Ledge. should have been a lot of goals. I don't it? think Standard Ledge deserved to lose, but. Uh, tell you one team that did deserve to lose. Wait, 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 wait. Glasgow Celtic, and we're on that note, guys. Aye, but did, did you watch it? What do you mean on that? No, we're not going to talk about the fucking goal the guy scored. Oh, aye, Roof, aye. Roof! Blew the roof off the arena that's got near Roof. The impact. And then so. there was fans, well, not fans. The fans would have been going mental, but well, unfortunately they're only there. Well, there was three thousand of them. Was there? I will. Oh, man, he just wants us. No, he hot. Then he, he went like that to do the Anderlecht sign, and then the, the manager scored up to him, and McGregor told the fuck off. Well, to be fair, I mean, Rangers fans are that passionate. You wouldn't be surprised if they sneaked in as fucking Belgians. I know, but. Great goal, man. Skint four guys. It was 55 yards out. I, well, that's, that's, just, that's, that's the writings on well, the Well, it was 54.6, but you rounded up. Well, we were saying, we were saying Roof's shite, but is he not just justified as two million there? I know, I like, can't admit when I'm wrong, I'd happily admit. Lyndon Dykes when they scored that. I know. But I still don't rate him. I mean, one wonder goal. It's going to take more than one wonder goal to... Um... Like, it's good technique and all, but to me, I'm not, I'm not saying, like... It's like a freak incident. It's brilliant, yes, but I'm not. So, I mean, I I, that transgender guy that plays for Celtic could have scored it. I bet he didn't. He, he didn't. No, Shane Duffy could have scored it, but he didn't. Mm. The only thing he did tonight was on. concede. It was brilliant, right? I'm not gonna take away for the guy. Gerard said it's the best goal he's ever seen live. Well, I've seen Gerard score about twenty goals that were better, so that's a bit strange. Like, but unless a goal he scores doesn't count as live. Oh come on, wait. Gerard fucking played in the Liverpool team that had some amazing Torres, Didier Haman free kicks, Risa free kicks, Xabi Alonso. What? I'm pretty sure Mike Owen must have scored some good goals back when he before he was pitching in. No, but no, 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 was so good about it though. He skipped four people. And see, when he first did it, I thought, oh, he's just cleared that just because it's like it's like last that's, kick. What, that's what the keeper it, thought as well. It's last <laughs> kick of the game, and then I'm like, oh, well, the ball's not going right. And I'm like, holy fuck, that's dipping. <laughs> it, went, it didn't even bounce for the line. I, uh, it was straight in. Hey, great. Uh, Fifteen minutes almost up. Can we end this now? Yes, it was. It was good all around, and uh, the Celtic turmoil continues. But the fuck the coefficient, so no surrender. I oh, fuck the coefficient. Totally forgot that. Right? Well, there you go. Rangers I leading the way. Spend another fifteen minutes. Rangers left. leading the way for the coefficient. Uh, Dundalk get beat. Arsenal one. Oh, Dundalk get beat. Yep, they're winning one 0 too. 
bastards. And uh, last or one. So until next time. We've all been doing a Europa League series with no, uh, no, Old Firm. So uh, make sure you check that out. It's going to be good. And we're going to actually win some Celtic Kennedy. Anyway, till next time. Peace.